I worry about that. You're not really young. I'm and it is time for a new path for you. Do you, do you practice this or are you been doing all that? Dang, you gotta fake it till you make I it. I give a fuck about the future of the website. Oh, Dan's not coming in. Oh, you can't fuck up anymore, Dan. Now we've got a big sponsorship. And I just worry about it. You're just making me feel stupid. Like you could that. ask better questions. You're taking this seriously or not? Money for you for an hour, man. Hour, man. Nick, I'm tired of it, man. I can't live like this anymore. I don't know what you're talking about, Dan. You're fucking late. Late for what? The meeting with the network exec. Oh, fuck. Poncho boys, thanks for coming to meet me down here. Yeah, no worries. Uh, what, what's with the uh, no lights? Don't worry about it. You guys want to show on TV or not? Yes. You guys have got the flavour, you know? You're delicious. But for TV, you're going to need a few tweaks. Yeah, we, we, we knew that was going to be... Uh, Within reason. A few compromises, yeah. Well, it's going to be those things to get from where you are now all the way to the Daryl Summers top. Great. Alright. No, yeah, I don't know about that top, but... A, a top. With all due respect, I, I do want to believe you, but why should we? Because I'm the guy that's going to get you there. Well, that went really well. I'm just amazed that they would want us on network. Yeah, well, there's a, there's a huge gap with video hits and speaks and specs. Speaks and specs, yeah. yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. But, I mean, what do you think you meant by sort of making concessions or changing things or whatever? Oh, well, probably I wouldn't be getting naked anymore. Well, that's probably a good thing, isn't it? Yeah, well, I have put in a little bit away. I think you've turned up a little bit yeah, recently. Thanks, thanks, man. That's right. Yeah. So mate, I'm, uh, I'm thinking of uh, rehashing that uh, my cock up your ass joke. Well, oh, that was pretty funny. Yeah, um, that was good in yeah. the stand up. Comedy. Yeah, stand up episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and um, mm. and I was I was thinking with um, with with you. I mean, what was what was your favourite sort of one line up from from Poncho? I, I liked the, the songs, not the okay. one liners, but I thought maybe if we rehash a couple of the songs. Yeah. So the bands, and then I guess do some sort of intro into the first interview. Alright guys, you need to look at the camera, okay? You need to look at me. Big smiles. And action. I really like Pims and Lemonade. I never thought I would. It's a bit of a girl's drink. Yeah, right. Mm. Mmm, it's good. Uh, this you can't week... spike it though, can you? It'd be pretty noticeable if you put Brit Hypnol in that. Yeah. Okay, cut. Action! Oh, fuck, it was a big night last night. Cut! Shit house. Oh. What? Swearing. Yeah. I can't swear on the show. You said that you wanted us to keep doing our sort yeah. of shtick. You want like the wacky poncho guys, and that's what we're doing in your scene, yeah. so... And really bubbly, really... Yeah. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> that was my air horn. Very, very funny um, man, Dan. What? Yeah, and also... No, no arms. No arms? No arms. No arms. They hire us for our personalities, but then they try and fucking crush it. Well, I, I just hate the words that are coming out of my mouth, you know, because it's yeah. written by yeah. those yeah. cocksuckers. Stop it, Nicholas Roger Clark. Wouldn't mind rogering you. Uh, Oh. Thanks, dude. I really like that bat bat. Oh. This is so gay, man. Him telling me... No. You know, like, I, I, I just feel as though you're doing yourself and the network a disservice by not, al by not allowing me to make rape jokes. I'm inclined to agree with Dan on, mm. on that point. I think he should be allowed to make as many rape jokes as he, as he wishes. Rock and roll dudes, Nick Clark and Danny Watt here for Poncho. Massive show coming up. Have we got Danny? Oh man, we've got Sacodactyl, awesome young band. Um, and we've also got the Vasco era. Not so young, but still awesome. Rock's back, dude, so stay tuned for heaps more massive episode coming up. P -p -p Poncho! This um 
This isn't really working for me, man. You know, I'm a, I'm a music journalist. Um, I, I'm not just a marionette, mm. you know? Um, yeah. There's not a great deal of creativity involved with what we're doing now. Well, well any creativity we have gets stifled or watered down, you yeah. know? And it ends up this... Guys. Oh, hey, man. What's the problem? Oh, I don't know. I, I just, I don't feel like a music journalist anymore. I feel like, I feel like a puppet. You know, I feel like oh, I'm the same. I'm with them. Yeah. Let me tell you something. You're on television now. T V. Okay? You don't know anything about it. I am youth television, okay? Video hits. This little bitch with an afro walked in. She's okay. I said, make her black. Two years later, she's fucking fuzzy. You wanna be fucking fuzzy? You wanna be fucking fuzzy? You wanna be fucking fuzzy? I guess so, yeah. <sighs> Just stick the course, do what I tell you. Is he fuzzy? I don't know. I don't really get it. It's Dan Watt here and you know, there's a time in your life when you see a band and then you see them again and you see them a few more times and you realise that they've got rock and roll dripping out of their veins. I'm talking about the Vasco era. Boys, how are you? Good, Not thanks. too bad? Good, Not too bad? <laughs> Your latest song, um, Childbearing Hips, a nice way of commenting on a girl who is a little bit fat. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But we were going from the boy, like the boys' perspective. You know, the boys, if the child, like I've got pretty big. Oh, hips. boys! Yeah, boys yeah, with yeah, childbearing yeah, hips. Yeah. Well, it's the girls turning it back on the boys, so it's a feminist song. Feminist song, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's like I am woman, hear me roar. Well, contrarian yeah. feminist. What? What the f was with that hippie ass film clip? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Um, we were overseas. <laughs> So it was a great film clip. I uh, really enjoyed the colours. <laughs> <laughs> I posted it on a um, girl I'm seeing wall. Yeah. Um, and she said, "What are you saying about my hips, you?" <laughs> 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 oh, uh, she. So anyway, so uh, so you've worked with um, so you support a wolf mother in Eng England before? <laughs> we did that. We did. <laughs> okay. Keep watching Poncho. If you think these guys are exciting, we've got something twice as exciting. Now this will be good. Stay tuned. What do we got, Danny? It's time for Drossy's Corner. Good day, It's Drossy's Corner. Get up your I got a your Primary school teachers. What, what the oh, fuck was that what? beeping shit? He's an integral part of the show. He talks like a criminal. He's out. He doesn't talk like a criminal. But fuck this. Stop doing that fucking. I was at a gig the other night and, and this uh, this kid goes, hey, fuck <coughs> off, sell out. Yeah, just ignore it. I mean, everyone's yeah. got extreme opinions when maybe they don't know the reality. I mean, you can only be an idealist for so long. Yeah, you can't, and I mean, and you know, and, and, and we want to, we, we want to keep doing this for the rest of our lives, you know. You want to make it sustainable, yeah. You want to make it sustainable, yeah. So earlier today, Nick and I headed down to a skate park in Melbourne to hear what the kids are listening to, and we saw some pretty gnarly tricks as well. Hey Nick, what a beautiful Melbourne day down at the skate park here. Springtime's come about pretty soon, Danny, and we've popped down to see some gnarly tricks and talk about what music people are listening to down here at the park. I reckon some of these cool kids are being to some cool music. Those tricks they're doing are super rad. I hope we can pull off those tricks too. Hey Nick! Bam! Bam! Bam, bam, bam! Bam, watch this, hand plant! Alright guys, it's uh, Dan from Poncho with, what was your name? Will. Will. What sort of music do you like, Will? Um, bits of everything, like Bliss and Esso. Yep. Now you listen to your uh, iPod while you're skating, do you? Uh, I ride scooters, yeah. You ride scooters. Now, do, you, do you like Aussie hip hop? We had a guy love, up there. Yeah. Yeah. Love, yeah. 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 Pairs 360, Hill Bl Hood. Bliss and Esso. Oh yeah. 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 Yep. Do, you, do you reckon, what's his odds of, of picking up a girl tonight if he went out? Well, if he wore his hand like that, zero chance. <laughs> <laughs> Zero chance. You might be better picking up a guy. 
Well, Nick, I've been absolutely flabbergasted by the skills of those kids. It's really something, isn't it? Even the, the little fellas, the oh. 8, 10, 12-year-olds, amazing tricks. I am way too intimidated to actually get out there and show my skills, but I'm going to practice out here in what I've dubbed the practice zone. Cool. Well, Clarky, I'm pooped. Me too, Danny. I don't think we've got what it takes to really take it to those young blokes out there. Mate, we're a long way off getting to the level where we can actually get inside the park. We should stay out here for the moment, I think. And you should stay watching Poncho. Now, I went down to Snack at Actors School earlier in the week because they're all, of course, only 17 years old, Danny. So talented. Incredibly talented for a couple of young people. So, check this one out. Snackadactyl. Three guys, a girl, and one seriously hot band right now, with a seriously weird name. Snackadactyl's five members met at school in 2010 and soon began writing what might best be described as pop music with a twist. So why might you have heard of them? Um, maybe because they just won Triple J's Unearthed High Contest, duh. Nick Clark here for Poncho, joined by Barna and Phoebe from Snackadactyl, the Unearthed High winners. And you guys are just rehearsing at the moment, just down in the school hall, aren't you? Yeah, just down there in a little tin studio. Yeah, wonderful. Now that's pretty good of the school to put you up in there, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Through the bushes. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. is nice and bushy around here. You see some koalas around, dare I say? Oh, uh, not recently, but we do have peacocks over there. Yeah, wonderful. And there's wildlife roaming around every now and again. Yeah, a bit of wildlife uh, here yesterday when Living In came down <laughs> yeah. and, and, and played for your school. And you guys did a little set as well. Now, how did all that go? Oh, we thought that went really well. Everyone seemed to have a great time. Cool. And you're doing an EP later in the year. Now, for those who don't know, an EP is like a shorter version of an album. It's about, like, what, four or five tracks, something like that? Yeah, we've got a six-track EP. Sweet, yep. So. And when's that coming out? Um, early December. Well, thanks heaps for having us down here at your school, guys, at Rudolf Stein. It's been wonderful to visit you in your natural habitat, <laughs> dare I say. And best of luck with the future, of course. I'm sure we'll hear a lot more from you guys in the coming months and years. And uh, for all you kids watching at home, stick around for more. Well, that's about it for today. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have. Thanks so much for sticking around for all the music, cool stuff, and random nonsense. And tune in... Next week, to Poncho! And cut, grab everybody. Oh, oh that was great, man. Good. Nailed it. Thanks, yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks, dudes. Oh, God. I'm gonna go home and work on my uh, catchphrase this afternoon. I was a bit unsure about this uh, commercial TV stuff. Oh, me too, man. You know, you gotta make a few concessions, but now, you know, look at the lifestyle we're leading. Get ready for the what stuff!